So, <clears throat> the question is, is Krishna the only God? Let's see what the scriptures say. Brahma, who is <clears throat> considered the, the secondary creator of uh, the material existence, in Brahma Samhita, chapter 5, text 1, states, Ishwaraha Paramaha Krishnaha Satchitananda Vigraha Anadir Adir Govinda Sarvakarana Karanam Brahma says that of all the controllers, Ishwaraha Paramaha, the topmost controller is Krishnaha. Ishwaraha Paramaha Krishnaha. Why is Krishna the topmost controller? Because Satchitananda Vigraha. Because he has a form which is eternal, full of knowledge and full of bliss. What are the other characteristics of Shri Krishna? Anadi. He is beginningless. There was never a point where Krishna didn't exist. And Adi Govinda. He is the first primeval lord. Purana Purusham. He is the first personality. Brahma, who is the creator, says that I came out. I sprung from his navel. Shri Krishna or Shri Vishnu is the supreme lord. And most importantly, Sarva Karana Karana. Because he is the cause of all causes. He is the origin of all origins. He is the creator of all creators. He is the Lord and Master of all Lords. So this is Brahma's verdict. Let's see what the other controller, Lord Shiva, says. Lord Shiva in Padma Puran states, Aradhananam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param. Of all the worships, of all the sacrifices, Vishnu Aradhanam Param. The worship or the chanting of the names of Shri Krishna or Shri Vishnu is topmost. So Brahma says Krishna is God or the topmost. Shiva says Krishna is topmost. What does Krishna say to this? He says in Bhagavad Gita uh, <coughs> uh, that I am the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the seventh chapter. Matta parataram nanyat kinjidasti dhananjaya mai sarvam idam protam sutre manigana iva. He says matta paratara na anyat. Oh Arjuna, please understand that I am the absolute truth. There is no one equal or greater than me. Mai sarvam idam protam sutre manigana iva. And he gives an example also. Like I am like the thread on which the different uh, pearls are strung. Just like in a necklace, you find that the pearls are strung. But the most important thing which keeps all the pearls together is the thread. And the thread is not seen, it's invisible. So similarly, the glittering pearls of this material world are strung together by that invisible thread and the most important backbone of Shri Krishna. So Brahma says Krishna is God, Shiva says Krishna is God, Krishna says I am God. What does Arjuna say? Arjuna say, says in the Bhagavad Gita, Param Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhavan Purusham Shashvatam Divyam Adi Deva Majam Vibhum Ahustwani Jahas Sarve Devarishi Naradas Tatha Asito Devalo Vyasa Swayam Chaiva Bravishime. After seeing the, uh, the power potency of Shri Krishna, Arjuna says, Param Brahma, O Shri Krishna, you are the topmost being. Param Dhamma, you are the topmost abode anybody can achieve. Pavitram, you are the most purest personality. Paramam Bhavan, uh, Purusham, Shashvatam, Divyam. Shashwat Purush, you are somebody who is eternal and Divyam, you are transcendental. And Adi Devam, you are the first living entity and Ajam, one without birth, one without origin. And then he says, Devarishi, Narada, Asita, Devala, Vyasa, O Shri Krishna, not just me, all these great personalities are certain that you are the topmost. In fact, even Indra and Brahma in the Srimad Bhagavatam after the Gordhan Leela and the Brahma Vimohan Leela respectively glorify Shri Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Shukadeva Goswami in the Srimad Bhagavatam says Yam Brahma Varunendra Rudra Maruta Stunvanti Divdai Stavair Vedai Sangha Padakramo Panishadai Gayanti Yam Samaga Dhyana Avasti Tatad Gatena Manasa Pashyanti Yam Yogina Yasyantam Navidu Sura Asura Gana Devaya Tasmai Namaha He describes Krishna as follows Yam, Brahma, Indra, Rudra, Maruta, all these big, big demigods bow down before Shri Krishna, Stunvanti Divyaistavar, with transcendental poetry of praise. Vedai Sangha Padakramo Upanishadai Gayanti Yam Samaga. All the Upanishads and the verses of the Samaveda sing the glories of Shri Krishna. 
हू इज दिस कृष्णा ध्यान अवस्थित तद गतेन मनसा पश्यंत यम योगिना ऑल द योगीज एंड द ज्ञानीज दे सिट इन कॉन्टेम्पलेटिव मेडिटेशन फॉर युगस एंड इन द कोर ऑफ देयर हार्ट दे फाइंड दिस श्री कृष्ण एज द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी एंड दिस सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी श्री कृष्ण यस्य अंतम न विदु हुज बिगिनिंग मिडिल एंड एंड कैन नॉट बी फैदम्ड एंड अंडरस्टूड बाय सुरा असुरा either by the demigods humans or demons to that topmost supreme personality shri krishna i bow down finally shukadev goswami in first canto third chapter describes ete chaans kala pumsam krishna stu bhagavan swayam indrari vyakulam lokam mridayanti yuge yuge after describing all the different avatars the incarnations the expansions and the plenary portions Shri Shukadev Goswami says O Maharaj Parikshit of all these expansions and all these forms please note Krishna stu Bhagavan swayam Krishna is the original supreme personality of godhead he is god even Vyasadev his father Parashara Muni he describes in Vishnu Puran 6547 the definition of god ऐश्वर्य समग्र से वीर से यशस्य ज्ञान वैराग्य हि डिस्क्राइब्स दट गॉड इज हि हु हेज सिक्स ऑपिलेन्सेस इन फुल वॉट आर द सिक्स ऑपिलेन्सेस ऐश्वर्य वीर यश ज्ञान वैराग्य ऐश्वर्य से समग्र से वीर से यश श्रिय ज्ञान एंड वैराग्य सो द सिक्स ऑपिलेन्सेस आर हिज ऐश्वर्य इज फुल ऑफ ब्यूटी Krishna is very beautiful and he is the most beautiful Viryasya the strongest Krishna is strongest he smashed all the demons in Krishna leela Yasha and Shriya uh, Yasha he is the most famous god is most famous wealthiest most knowledgeable most renowned and Krishna possesses all these six qualities in an unparalleled unequaled fashion therefore krishna is called as asama urdhva he is there's no one equal to him or no one greater to him because of all these shastrik references and much more because we have less time we'll just uh, um, take only these references at the conclusion of all these references we understand how shri krishna is the only supreme personality of god